This video is designed to give you an overview of the Albac mat and is not intended to be a substitute for actual training with the product. The video needs to be assessed in line with the manual handling and cross-infection policies in place within your organisation. Please bear in mind that although the video has been filmed within an NHS hospital, the equipment has been designed for use in various types of buildings where the available space is quite often very limited. Any manual handling techniques used within the video are merely suggested methods to move non-ambulant persons in an emergency. It is accepted that there may be other more appropriate alternatives on some occasions and within slightly different environments to those portrayed. The Elbac mat has been safety tested to a maximum weight of 160 kilograms, although the maximum load to be pulled should be advised by your manual handling advisors. It is recommended that a minimum of two people handle the Elbac mat. As a general rule, the maximum weight being pulled should not be more than that of the combined handlers. Each user will have his or her own handling plan and this should be considered before transferring any user using this equipment. When required in an emergency, the Albac mat can be carried to the user. If time allows, always work with the bed at a comfortable height. To prepare the user for evacuation, remove their pillows and the top covers and place to one side ready for later use. Wrap them in the bottom bed sheet. This will help to keep the user secure during the transfer onto the Albac mat and adds a layer of warmth during the evacuation process. Roll them onto their side ensuring they are supported. The Albac mat can easily be unrolled after releasing the blue fastening strap by holding the yellow handle and simply throwing it out or by rolling it out on the bed. Carefully place the Albac mat alongside of them ensuring it's tight against their back and legs. Gently roll them back onto the Albac mat ensuring they are positioned centrally before placing their feet into the pocket. Place the foil blanket over the user, this can be found in the foot pocket. If available, position a pillow under the user's head. Working in pairs, fasten the straps across the user's chest and knees, ensuring they are tight but comfortable. Various methods of taking the user off the bed can be used. Please consult your moving and handling department to ascertain the correct method of transfer for your own specific environment. With a person at each end of the Albac mat, take hold of the end straps and move the user into a position where they are lying at approximately 90 degrees across the bed ready to be taken off the bed. The person at the head end keeps the straps short and starts to move backwards slowly, allowing the Albac mat to touch the floor. The foot end operator helps to control the descent of the Albac mat onto the floor using the foot end strap. Once the Albac mat is on the floor, both operators should pull it towards the exit or stairs. It is easiest pull from the long straps at the head end, especially if doors are to be negotiated. However, it is vital that the user approaches the stairs feet first. With one person at each end of the Albac mat, the user can be securely moved down the stairs. It is very important that the person at the foot end keeps the Albac mat as straight as possible until the upper part of the body has come over the top step. This helps to prevent excessive bending of the user's hip and pelvic area. Once the weight ratio changes, let the foot end come into contact with the stairs. The operator at the head end should keep the pulling strap long and assist by slightly raising the handle as the body moves over the top step. When reaching the half landing, it's important to steer a wide course so you do not encounter problems with the central pillar of the staircase. If needed, the webbing loops located along each side of the mat can be used to help position the Albac mat between stair runs. The speed of descent is controlled by the operator at the head end whilst communicating closely with the foot end operator. Once the user has exited the building and reached a point of safety, the cross straps can be loosened to ensure the user is comfortable. Where a mat has been used for training purposes, the base can be cleaned by applying spray polish and buffing with a duster or cloth. Ensuring the mat is completely dry, it is simply folded and rolled back into the foot pocket. The base can also be cleaned using antibacterial wipes. If you have any questions or would like to request more information on the Albac mat, please contact Spectrum Healthcare.